Module 9, CAD 117 Intermediate AutoCAD, Joe Cerrone. Today we're going to take a look at how to create auxiliary views. The Module 9 covers auxiliary views and the content is laid out in the D2L course system. It matches the textbook for auxiliary views chapter 9 from our technical drawing 101 with AutoCAD. And so you can download the lecture in the drawing prototype and there is a web page on how to accomplish the exercise for the lab or to generate the auxiliary view. So let's take a look at the PowerPoint presentation. So auxiliary views, what they're used for is they're used to generate a true size from a two-dimensional drawing. And so if we look at the objectives, define what auxiliary views are and how they are used, explain the glass box theory of visualizing an auxiliary view, use AutoCAD to create a primary auxiliary view for an inclined plane. So what we're looking to do when we draft, okay, and this thing here is called a mechanical pencil, is to, I know you know that, uh, is to uh, take a two-dimensional drawing that's on paper, okay, so we have our front view, our top view, and our right side view, and this is what's known as an inclined plane, and so we don't get true size of that because it's foreshortened. And same thing with the right side view. It's it's foreshortened because it's at an angle. And so the only way to generate a true size view of it is to bounce the dimensions off of this edge view, which is true size or true length. And so when we visualize it, and now with computer modeling, you know, this is, is becoming easier to generate these views from a 3D model. It was quite a bit of work when you had to do it with a with a pencil and it's more accurate now too so as we look at it you're still going to have to be able to understand the technique to be able to give somebody a true size print on paper so to be able to do that what we do is we we have our glass box and the glass box basically projects the outline of the part and then the hidden lines to each of these different planes and so this would be our top plane Here's our auxiliary, which would be, again, perpendicular to this edge view, which gives us true size. And here's a right size view. And so this is not a true size surface or this one. And so here's how that technique would work. The auxiliary view is aligned with the edge view of the inclined plane. And so that would be this edge view. Basically, you just draw lines perpendicular to it. And they're laying out, you know, their process as far as how they um, initiate, you know, copying this line. And I'll just show you. It's quite easy. So draw a line perpendicular to that out into space. And then at some convenient point, you put a reference line. And that, this line is just parallel. You just offset that. And then once we have that line referenced as a parallel line, then we can start putting in the measurements from the other two views and so we would measure from point 1 to point A and we would determine that that distance is 2.75 and then we would transfer those measurements into the auxiliary view and create the construction and same thing with the other coordinates for the other parts it's basically you bounce the measurements off of the edge view into the auxiliary view and then you measure from the reference planes and so that's what these purple lines are purple lines represent the reference to where the part starts and then you get all the measurements from this purple line back and so from point one to point A is that 
same distance from this line to point E is then what we're generating. So we transfer the geometry, bounce it off this reference plane into the auxiliary view, and then we would measure the distance from 2 to E, 3 to E, and then C and D would be the same as A and B. And so they've already kind of plotted those. And so that's that basic technique. And the same thing for, for circles. What they're doing is they're basically taking this ellipse and they're bouncing the center point of the ellipse off of the edge view into the reference plane, which is basically perpendicular off of that line. Here's our reference line or our reference plane. And then we would measure from point 6 to point H and we would get this value. and then they just add this broken out section. I don't know what the purpose of having this here for. It looks to me like the part was complete, so this may be an error by the author. Okay, so he walks you through this. I'll do the same thing with regular measurements and dimensions. So there's also a bonus drawing. You can you can work on creating an auxiliary view of this as well. And actually, the auxiliary views are, are fine, but there's some really nice content if you're stuck at home um, and you get tired of what's on TV. There's only so many TV shows, right, as we, um, I guess they call it sheltering in place. Um, so let's take a look at this. So I've downloaded this, this file, and if we look at the module 9 what I was talking about you know bonus work or extra work was that there is these extra credit assignments and so in the past before we had to follow the books so closely we could kinda of run these like workshops and we have some pretty interesting assignments and so um, designing for CNC is is a pretty cool project and so we took these from an industrial design standpoint where we would model these mirror and shelf. And this is kind of like a, uh, a mirror that you would put in your locker or if you have, like I have a cabinet, you know, it's always good to take a look before you go out in front of everybody and make a, a lecture for an hour and a half just to make sure that you don't have, uh, uh, so that you look great. So, you know, we would make these these small mirrors and um, we would 3D print them. So that's one of the bonus assignments. And there's videos for how to do those as well. Um, you know, this mirror in the shelf, putting the fret template in there. It's pretty cool as far as some of the extra credit assignments. Getting back to our regular credit assignment, here's our, our lab. And what, what we would do here would be to download this from the D2L and open it. So I've done that. This is the auxiliary view prototype drawing. And then what we would do is we would basically generate a view. And so we'd come over here and I'm going to switch the workspace over to 2D, drafting an annotation. And then what we're going to do is we're going to turn the menu bar back on. And if you downloaded it and you notice that the line weights that I'm using are darker, they are because I went in and I went into the um, the layers manager and I added a line weight to the visible lines of 0.5 millimeters. Easier to see on the video. So we're going to offset this line and so offset and then we can specify distance or through. If we say T for through, we can just specify the object to offset and then we can just say oh, right about here would be about right. And so as I look at these numbers 5 I would say 5.5 5 